here's what matters to voters right now. Whether or not they can afford to save a little money, whether or not they can fill their gas tanks and put food on the table and, you know, maybe if they're lucky enough, take a vacation. I mean, the economy is a big freaking deal when it's not going well, like when it's going great. And this is perhaps how Biden got in in the first place because everybody thought, you know, everything's great, you know, inflation's low and everybody was high on the, living high on the hog because they had all those uh, stimmy checks coming in the mail. Well, it, it's catching up with them. And CNN had a little bit of a reality check forced upon them, right? They're talking to all these voters in a focus group and listen to what these voters say because the pundits are here. Oh, she won, she won. And the voters are somewhere else. How many of you have made up your minds based on what you saw tonight on stage in Philadelphia? Raise your hands. All right, I wanna ask you why. What did you see that brought you to a conclusion? I think it's important to remember that we are voting for the leader of our country and not who we like the most or who we want in our wedding party, but who is actually going to make our country better. And we're in an incredibly unique situation where we've had both of the candidates in office before and we've gotten to see what they would do. And when facts come to facts, my life was better when Trump was in office. The economy was higher, inflation was lower things were better overall. And now with um, Kamala's administration, things haven't been so fantastic. And she's saying she can fix the problems that her administration has caused, but I just don't know if I can afford to take that risk. Mm. You see, so that's sort of where people are coming out. And I've heard that over and over and over again in all of these focus groups. It's like all the networks got a little dose of reality. So people are struggling and they don't have a lot of faith because, hey, you know, things were not that bad when Donald Trump was, I mean, he had to deal with some personality things and some fiery tweets, etc. But they felt more secure financially. They don't feel that way anymore. And so why would they take a chance on somebody who's already been there three and a half years who's like, no, 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 I'm an opportunity economy. I mean, she literally did copy and paste. <laughs> they, had, they reported on this, like the, the source code is literally the same. She went or her team went and copied and pasted the policy from Joe Biden and slapped it onto her website just hours before the debate because, you know, you can't really be running a campaign and not have any policy on the website, which is the way it had been for quite a number of weeks. You know, no policy, no interviews. Now she wants to do another debate. Are you kidding me?